Hello and uh, welcome to the workbench. Um, today we're going to discuss this is a <clears throat> Kimber Solo pistol and uh, this is you know one of their older models precedes the Micro 9 and such and uh, as, as with most things Kimber the workmanship is really really nice on this gun. Uh, I've always liked Kimber for quality. However this one has a problem that I suspect is fairly common and that is, these bushings have uh, come out. I got to find it. Sorry about that. Uh, these these bushings here uh, for the grip screws have come out. The customer was out shooting, and the grip just came right off, and the bushings were screwed onto the grip, and uh, both of them were. And it looks like it's kind of like a pem nut. It's a press fit in there. It doesn't look like there's any real staking for sure or anything like that. And then, upon further inspection, I looked and discovered that right down in here, that is like a silicone glue. The other side, when you turn the grip screws, uh, they just spin. And if you look in the back side here, you look up in there with some light. Uh, you can't see it here, but you can look up in there with some light, and you can see that the bushing's just turning around. So, apparently, this gun has had this problem before. Now, when I called Kimber about it, they didn't hint that they've ever seen this problem with this. But it looks like because of the design, there's a little bit of recess between the, the bushing and the flat surface here that the grip is on. So if you over tighten the grip screws, it just extracts that uh, bushing right out. Now what I have done here is I've used a little bit of slip fit Loctite on these, lined them up very carefully, pushed them all the way back in. Now they're they're pretty solid, probably last for a while, but in truth what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I've got a little bit of non-corrosive RTV that's extremely tenacious as far as holding on to that. So to help us out, I'm just going to put a dab here and a dab there, and, uh, you know, that, that should do it. Unfortunately, you may have to get these grips off because there's a couple of springs underneath here. So I want to be careful about how much I use. Hopefully, this, this Loctite here will help this hold. I don't know how old this gun is, but it's really an interesting problem. And everywhere I looked on uh, online, there was just no information. Everything was about 1911 grip screw bushings, which have a way to mechanically stake them in place. The this this bushing does not go through all the way, so there's no way to stake it from the backside to keep it from coming out. Um, so it's just a, a really kind of an unusual problem. Um, if you've got any comments or you've seen really good ways to fix this before, please leave that in the comment sections. Thanks for viewing.